Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to configure System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 to alarm to the System Manager alarming service using SNMP v3. Let's cover a few key points before we begin. System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 serviceability agents must be configured to send SNMP v3 traps to the System Manager alarming service. This applies to both new installations and upgrades to release 6.2. All configuration is performed using the System Manager 6.2 web interface. This applies to both the System Manager and Session Manager serviceability agent. Apart from the configuration that you perform here, there is no other configuration required directly in the System Manager or Session Manager server like there was for previous releases. Also, the serviceability agent configuration must match the System Manager SNMP v3 host configuration. And finally, here are a summary of steps we'll go through today. First, we'll define the System Manager SNMP v3 host configuration. We'll then create an SNMP v3 user. From there, we'll create a target profile. And finally, we'll assign this target profile to our System Manager and Session Manager 6.2 serviceability agents. Let's begin by logging into our System Manager with the admin account or in the user with admin level privileges. I'll provide my credentials, then press log on. Okay, now that we've been authenticated, the first thing we'll need to do is define the SNMP v3 parameters for the system manager host. We'll do that by clicking on configurations under services. Now on the left navigation pane, we'll expand the settings link. We'll then expand the SMGR link. Once that's been expanded, we'll want to find and click on trap listener. Now here's where we'll define and provide all of the SNMP v3 parameters. To open up the field for editing, we'll want to click on the edit button, so I'll do that now. I'll begin by first defining a v3 username. I'll use Avaya SNMP for this example. I'll then need to choose an authentication protocol between MD5 or SHA. I'll leave mine at MD5. I'll then provide the authentication password that I choose and then confirm that right below. I'll then need to define a privacy protocol. Again, I can choose between AES or DES. I'll leave mine set for AES. And just like above, I'll need to set and define the privacy password as well as confirm that. And finally, I want to make note of my community string and my listening port. As you can see here, my community string is set to public and my listening port is set to 10162. Once that's all been entered, go ahead and commit the changes by pressing the commit button. Now that we've configured the SNMP v3 parameters, we can move on to the next step. Let's go ahead and click on the Home tab. Now from here, we want to click on Inventory under Elements. On the left navigation pane, we want to expand Manage Serviceability Agents. Now here's where we're going to create our user as well as our target profile. But before we begin that, let's confirm that our serviceability agents are active. We'll click on Serviceability Agents. And as you can see here, my two session managers and one system manager all have a status of active. I'll go ahead and click on SNMP v3 user profiles. I'll then click on new. Now here I'll need to enter the same details that I provided in the host configuration. So for the username, I'll provide a via SNMP. I'll set the protocol to match at MD5. I'll make sure that I provide the same passwords that I defined earlier. Again here I'll set this to AES like I did in the host and once more I'll go ahead and provide the same passwords. Now one important note here for privileges because this user is only going to generate traps you can set this to none as the user does not require read write privileges. We'll go ahead and do that and then press commit and as you can see here we now have our v3 user listed below. We now need to define the target profile where the traps will be sent from the System Manager and Session Manager serviceability agents. So we'll click on SNMP Target Profiles. We'll then click on New. Now just like we did for our V3 user, we're going to want to make sure that here we also match the host configuration details of the System Manager server. So we'll begin by providing a name for this target. We'll then provide a brief description. Next, we'll enter the IP address of the System Manager server. Now it's important that you also update the port 
to what the configuration showed. Now in my case I had 10162 so I'll go ahead and do that. I'll then set the notification type to trap and I'll make sure that the protocol is set to v3. Now we're still not done. We still need to attach the user that we just created to this profile. We'll do that by clicking on the attach detach user profile tab above and you can see here under assignable profiles we have the user that we created. We we'll want to select that We'll then click Assign. Now if you happen to make a mistake, you can remove this user by expanding on Removable Profiles and removing the user. But since we know this is what we want, we can now go ahead and commit the changes. Okay, great. Now that we've created our user and our target profile, the final step is to push down this data to our System Manager and Session Manager serviceability agents. We'll do that by clicking on Serviceability Agents. We'll then select the agents that we want to push this down to. Now in my case I want to push this down to all of them, so I'll click on the checkbox above. I'll then press Manage Profiles. I'll then want to click on the SNMP Target Profiles tab. Now you can see here under Assignable Profiles, there is the entry that I created, so I'll go ahead and click on that and then press Assign. And again, just like before, if you did happen to make a mistake, you can expand Removable Profiles and remove this user but because we know this is what we want, we'll leave that intact. One final note, it's important here that you do not reassociate your v3 user under the SNMP v3 user profiles tab. Since the user you've created is already attached to the target profile, there is no need to reassociate it once more. So we'll go ahead and press commit to push down these changes. And that's all it takes. Your system manager and your session manager 6.2 are now configured to send alarms to the system manager alarming service. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.